All right, guys, so right now me and John's looking for the vault, and honestly, I mean, this is an amazing bank. I'm expecting some amazing vault. And if you ever played the game Payday, that's what I feel like I'm about to do right now. And well, well, there you go, it's already right here. Oh my God. Guys, we hit the jackpot. The vault. Unbelievable. I never even got to see a vault like this in my life. I mean, look at the, the steel Dude, on this. this. It's, it looks like the Titanic. Oh my goodness. Seriously, what? They actually, holy crap. Damn, the lock and everything. It's actually open. There's, it's so heavy to move, guys. I Seriously. There's one, two, three mass locks you have to open in order to actually open up this oh, vault. And then you have to twist this God. thing around, I believe. This is I mean, look at the steel on this thing. Look at the, look how thick this is, guys. This is pure steel. I wonder how it, it looks. Wow, really look at the back of the vault, how it looks. All the keys and numbers. And guys, look at we're at the, the at the vault. Let's open this up more. Uh, this is so heavy. Oh God, I'm trying to see inside, guys. Hope you guys can see. All right. Right here is where all the money would be. And I can't even get in. This thing is pure locked. Which, this is pure like steel. There's no way this is going to open. All right, guys, we found a basement to the bank. Hell is down there. Let's go check it out. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, whoa. More vaults. Literally. Look at that, guys. We found another vault found already. Another vault. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, look at the security codes and stuff that was on it. Dude, that is crazy. The alarm is right there. That's the alarm right there. Perimeter. Perimeter alarm. Look at all these codes. Seriously. Yeah. Electric collapse. That's all pretty right. insane, guys. Let's check out. This is how... Wow. Guys, we are inside of actual vault. All right, guys. So we're inside the... Uh, we're literally inside the vault right now. It's so dark in here. But look what we got. This is where they would store the gold bars, and the money was always placed on the floors around here, while the, inside the, the actual vault within the vault yes, heavy. was where the gold bars would be. Obviously, there's no more gold bars left here, though. But I mean, literally, even with the one down here, wow. you would see there's another one. Three sections where their diamonds and gold would be all stored here. All freshly cleaned out, though, of course. Look at this. But here is where all the money would be stored, all in these pallets. And it's a pretty crazy thing to see. As, I mean, I never, not many people can be inside an actual bank vault except the higher end people. But because this is an abandoned place, we're lucky. Alright guys, so we found this letter here. And it's talking about how Texas is requesting a refund of their 500 trust deposits for federal gold. Oh, wow. So, and this is dated as July 15th, 1982. So there's a lot of crazy cool stuff we can find here. A lot of like notes and, and stuff. Wow oh, guys, look at this one I'm reading. On September 20, 1980, I was notified by Mr. Stephen Lewis of Sears Security that 
the police department had our operations under surveillance and they thought we might be purchasing stolen merchandise. So yeah guys, I mean what you've seen was a lot of private letters. I mean there was like thousands and thousands of those letters all around there. But I mean I would be here all day reading them so we gotta keep exploring. But I mean this is going deep down guys. Alright so now we're further away inside here. They're making, really making our way in right now guys. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get lost out here. Lots and lots of checkbooks and receipts and stuff. Guys, what's in here? Whoa, look at all this. Look at these old desks. Wow, these are the desks that they used years ago inside like high school. Seriously. It wasn't much good, it was just... All the furnaces oh, and stuff. This was the furnace to keep the place warm. That's crazy, that had to like take a hole of the inside. Yeah. Got a lot of bolts and tools here. Damn guys, their desks, they're working. Wait, what the fuck? What the hell? Dude, we're in a federal bank. What is marijuana plants doing here? No fucking way. Jeez, this is crazy. It was cut off at the end. It was cut, let me see, let me see. Yeah. Look wow, out. they chopped it. What the fuck? Poison, holy crap. That's crazy, what's in here? What do you see in here? I mean, whatever was poison in here is gone. I mean, now I don't, I don't see much in here anymore. That's cr That's weird. All right, guys, we're gonna make our way back up top. We pretty much explored this whole place and what it has to offer. Well, there you have it, guys. We explored the roof, we explored the offices, we even found a marijuana plant, and we found the big vaults. I thought today was a great day. Um, until next time, this is Exploring with Josh. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe. Subscribe to Exploring with John as well. See you guys later. In 1930, the biggest bank in the city was built during the Great Depression, a time when scores of banks across the country were collapsing. The bank ended up moving to a different city in 1975, leaving this place to rest. Plans in 2005 was to convert the bank into condominiums, but those plans collapsed when his business partner fell ill and died.